right up to them, up there in Karakari. Got here at about, oh, plus 10. So just gonna make my way in now. Get to that tonight. Wanna try and get past the hut and up and over on this evening, so, but um, before we get started, I'll we'll just see how I go, I guess he's 16 hours here. Uh, I want to rush, I want to cruise on top and enjoy it, so see how we get on. So, um, just up at the bushage, bushage. just over an hour and a half from the car. <clears throat> That's not too bad to go, I don't think. It's stopped plenty of times, so. but um, just a gradual climb up through a couple of saddles and spurs up a ridge. <laughs> Mean. That's very mean. Territory cool. Just about there. Quick little trip down the edge of the bush down that little track down there. So we'll just do a, do a quick tour of the wife parky hut. Typical sort of 12 bunker, six either side and kitchen and living room and stuff in the middle. This one's like pretty much exactly like the Omaru hut in, in the basic sort of setup with the bunks and that. You know, go have a look at those. Heaps of firewood. Got a native stuff there, and that's come from anyway. Here's the bunk rooms. Six bunks. Another one over there. Kitchen. And we'll just get a little bit more light here. Eh? Hold on. There you go. So nice little benches and the fireplace which we had cranking last night and another bench and sink probably mouse is exactly like Omaru it's quite cool actually for that bit of nostalgia anyway head around to the back oh. you've got to see this supply of firewood Look at that, and the coal. My mate Scott, he loves his fires. He'd be having a field day. He'd probably burn that in about three days. Just um, heading up the <coughs> middle range track to the to here we go. Kotori hot tops, our range. My old mate's lost his shoe here. Don't know how that happened. Anyway, that would suck. It's been a foggy ball. It's been two o'clock, pretty much just thick hairs, but it looks like over there, up above us, it might actually come wrong.
uh, just heading out this morning. Just going to follow this ridge along all that over to the point out there. Drop down the side, then up and over to those ridge up to the right. And then up, sort of off around over by that spur you can see at the front. Well, way over in the far distance here. So, a little bit of a walk, but pretty cruisy really. Only one little, one little hill to negotiate, and a good chance we might see something along the way. Just dropping down the ridge, down to the river. And this big old rub. Like beauty. I reckon it's, I don't know, but I reckon it's a red deer's done that. So the wind's perfect in the situation, the wind's blowing up towards me. So I just had a bit of morning tea down the Waipaki River and down the valley. Beautiful day man, what a cracker. So I just got pretty much gonna walk up that little cross river, walk up that little face there, and um cross this little nice little terrace. So I'll hunt through there, hunt up to that ridge, and then up to the left there we can still see that tussock. And then there's a bit of a haul through the tussock up to the up to Sharp Cone and then uh, back down the track and we're out. A little grunt up there, but that's not too bad. It's just, man, stunning place. Very, very worthwhile trip doing the doing the um, Waipaki, um, Kari Kari Waipaki around the Te Hiwio Kaituri. And then come down one of these faces. All this low, lower bush is just fantastic. I've only had a look through a little bit of it, but I have hunted um, over on that face before years ago. And it's just nice and open, you can just roll along for hours into each little gut, you know, hunt up into that little gut or something in that, like that. So it's just endless hunting in here, it's primo. So just to sort of finish up on this trip, um, the mission was, you know, originally was to um, carry carry right to a Waipaki hut. And then loop around the T Hiwio Kotori range. Uh, we pretty much did we pretty much did that. We lost a day on the first day. Um, due to just the fog, it was the whole day was just fog and we couldn't really see anything. So I kind of lost a bit of a day there. Uh, we ended up spending a night in the hut on the first night, which is nice. The second night was up on a range just before the T Hiwio, and then the last night was um, pretty much right at the end of the Tihuio. Sort of some hill just, just off the end of it. Sort of three deer, yearling and a hind um, burst on the second morning, and then that little cheeky spiker, uh, that true cheeky yearling that we saw in the six yearling from the bush on the way down. That's quite cool, it's quite a neat little account of that. Anyway, we make my way down the track here, down to the car.
home to my wife and my boy and our bump. <laughs>